Ariane Arambiro right now on the phone, and she's also working with John Massey and Chopper 10 to give you an update, a follow-up to that sailboat rescue that happened yesterday, the drama that many of you followed along with us. All right, not much of a sail uh, in the word sailboat left for this vessel. Ariane, what can you tell us now? And it, look, we can see from Chopper 10 the boat and the onlookers. Hey, yeah, uh, guys, uh, bear with me. I'm dealing with I'm trying to hear you guys in the wind and chopper 10 above us. But, yeah, we're right here at 9 feet, just about five blocks down from the Ocean View Fishing Pier. And talk about a boat that was uh, in the news yesterday for quite some time. Uh, there were two people on board and a cat that uh, were rescued uh, during Hurricane Irene. They're both okay, but this boat has washed ashore. It's now become almost an attraction. A lot of people are down here with their cameras, their video cameras, just kind of walking around the boat. I'm walking around it now because I wanted to check out uh, what it looks like on the bottom. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but the anchor has completely broken off. This huge piece of metal is gone. There's barnacles washed upon uh, some of the rotors here. The anchor chain, I'm walking towards the back of the boat is completely all the way down towards the water, uh, but it's turned into an attraction site. Uh, this sailboat, not exactly sure how they're going to move this. The wind sails have been torn, shredded apart. Uh, there's still some things intact, though, uh, in the boat. A lot of people are peeking through the windows. I'm actually walking around right now. Uh, there's actually a cooler still intact. Uh, it's open. There's I'm sorry, we temporarily lost that signal. We'll try to reconnect with Ariane, but she, if you're looking at the shot right now, she is right at the top of your screen looking at the boat, as are some other folks who are visiting Ocean View Beach, Beach right now, checking it out as if it were a tourist attraction. That is amazing to look at it today, considering what it looked like yesterday when it was just being tossed about in the boat. And just to bring you up to speed, there were two people on that boat at the time, the Norfolk Police Department, the Norfolk Fire Department, and the U.S. Coast Guard pulled off a rescue that was pretty amazing and especially for the Coast Guard took them back to old times the times before helicopters before motorized boats and even small boats were used in these rescues they actually used a rope system to uh, shoot with a, a rope gun they call it, like a little cannon that will shoot rope over to the boat to secure it and got two people off the boat alive and from what we could tell in pretty good shape as they were walking to a waiting uh, Norfolk Fire Department vehicle yeah. to be assessed John Massey uh, again once again providing this picture in chopper 10 and we want to send it back up to him. Karen and Don, indeed, uh, looking down on the sailboat, you can see the amount of damage done to it. The mainsail is shredded. Now, what I do know about this uh, couple that was on this boat is, believe it or not, they tried to outrun a hurricane and head toward Annapolis. Obviously, did not make it. And very fortunate, if you think about it, for them uh, that the winds were blowing toward uh, the Hampton Roads area, basically brought them into the uh, inlet into the Chesapeake Bay and uh, probably saved their lives because if they had been out in open water in a hurricane, uh, it would not have turned out as well as it did. Unfortunately, they did lose their boat, obviously, significant damage done to that. And it's sitting right there on the beach. It washed up uh, on Ocean View, and you can tell just how close it got to the houses and how high that tide was because keep in mind that a sailboat has a large... Uh, rudder underneath the bottom or stabilizer so that gives you an idea how high that water was at one point in order to float that bar that or that sailboat that far up onto that sandbar but uh, you can see as Ariane was telling us it's basically a, a an attraction right now for the local people that live right here along uh, the Willoughby Spit coming out to see what we were all showing them on TV last night as they did that rescue but unfortunately the boat looks like it's going to be a uh, significant damage done to it, but the good news is the couple was rescued and they are doing okay this morning. And thankfully no rescue personnel were injured in this process because they were out there at the time. It seemed almost the height of the storm. The winds were whipping, the waves were high, and they were doing their best to uh, go back to the old style of rescuing uh, the couple on the boat, and they were able to get them off. We understand that they are hopefully going to be okay. You know, and John Massey, yesterday we had no idea that that rock jetty was right there, too. If you can kind of give us that wider shot. Uh, yeah, the petty officer that we talked to from the Coast Guard said that it was about 400 miles offshore there was no evidence of that rock jetty or even the, the posts so they well, are very the, lucky what, what those are carrier those are uh, rock jetties that they put up to try to protect the beaches over here at uh, Sandbridge and they run from here all the way down to the pier 
and that gives you an idea of just how high the surf was. You could not see that. You didn't even have an indication of water breaking over the top of it, and I don't know that the sailboat directly passed over the top, but it probably could. But uh, you can see right now, as I uh, swing the aircraft back around here, you can see all the way down the beach, there's a whole line of those rock uh, outcroppings, and they're basically there to protect the beach. You can see how it kind of scours the beach where the channels between the rock walls are. All right, John Massey in Chopper 10, some beautiful pictures on this day after the storm. Thank you, sir. We'll be checking back with you. And you are watching.